Hello, sunshine. Have we got a treat today? We are going to show some cosmetics with a demonstration and a review. So come on back and join me for my Timu haul. Hello sunshine, and how are you today? I am absolutely wonderful, but today is a new experience. Today, I have a Timu haul. I have a Timu haul of some makeup and different things that I'm going to show you. And not just show you, but we're going to demonstrate. So, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're an existing subscriber, then you already know how much fun we're going to have. So, get yourself something to drink, sit back, relax. We're in my half bath again. That's where I get ready to go. So, let's get into it. For those of you that don't know about Timu, they're an online marketplace. And you can get anything there. As long as it's not edible, you can find it on Timu. So, I have an associate link and associate code in the description box. So, click on those. You get your discount code. 30% off your first purchase if you never shopped at Timu. So, come on, check it out. Everything that I show you today will be linked down at the bottom. So, you can click on it and check it out. So, I have some products all in the makeup line. Now, some of them, no, I'm going to tell you a story. All of them are new to me. <laughs> so, we're going to try them out, see what they do, see how they work, and see if we like them. So, the first thing we're going to do is start opening our first. Now, I have makeup on. I am fully makeup. <laughs> I am fully makeup. This is my makeup face. Now, before we begin, I got a nice little satin cap. Now, this little cap, I recommend. It's got elastic. Oh, Trixie's opening the door. She wants to see what's going on. Hi, baby girl. So, let's put this on so we don't get any makeup or anything in her hair. All right, you ready? All right, let's put this on. Let's tuck on my hair. Yes, this is the way I do it. All right, then I can tuck it back. Tuck all my hair in. I was going to tuck my back hair in, too. I feel like Chef Boyardee. <laughs> all right. Oh, my hair's all tucked in. There we go. All right. Got it back to my hairline. Now, that's the first step. Get all your hair out of the way. Second step. I picked up this. Now, I'm old school. I've always cleaned my face up with witch hazel. Uh -huh. All right, so you got a bottle here. It's got a pump. And when you open up this bottle, it's got a pump where you can get stuff out. So now I'm going to get me a bottle. And ugh, I'm going to open that bottle. And I'm going to fill it up with witch hazel. Because that's what I use. So, we're going to put witch hazel in here. 
If I can get the top back on the witch hazel. <laughs> Mercy me. Mercy me. All right, so we have our witch hazel in here. I'm going to screw our top back on. All right, I just use cotton cloths when I clean my face. And we'll double this over. All right, so the object is we have our cleaning solution in here. And we just pump. Okay. See my cloth's getting wet. So we're just going to saturate this cloth real good. I mean, this is so much easier than tipping the bottle over. And yeah, just pump. I like this. I like this little bottle. And then we're just going to go all over. And just, it cleans all the makeup off. Told you. I told you I was makeup. So let's clean all that old makeup off. And get ready to put new makeup on. It's going to take more than one cloth. Let me set this over here. Open this up. Got another clean side. Yep. Now, like I said, today we're going to try new products. I've got some new foundations that I've never tried before. And I've got a new contour stick. Let's get the eyeshadow off too. And the mascara. Get it all off. Let's start with a clean slate. And you get to see what I really look like. <laughs> you may run and hide. You may run and hide. I may lose subscribers. <laughs> I've got age spots. I've got freckles. My freckles come from being Irish. So, I've got freckles. I've got age spots. Now, I like the witch hazel because you can even take off your mascara with the witch hazel. And it won't burn your eyes. And I like that. I ain't got them to here real close. Yeah. It doesn't burn your eyes. All right. Looks like we're pretty naked. Pretty naked. You can see my age spots. You can see my freckles. You can see it all. Now, this cloth's pretty nasty. So I'm going to use one more just to go over it to make sure we got everything. But I'm going to tell you, I like this little thing. I like it a lot. And it wasn't expensive. So this is going to stay in my stable. This is going to stay in my stable. This is so much easier. As like I said, normally I just tip the bottle over. All right. Yep. Little mascara in there. Let's get that off. Because I got a surprise for you later. I got a surprise. Alright. So that's done. Alright. Now with Witch Hazel, your face dries pretty quickly. So, I've got some foundations to try. Now this first one is by Pope Field. Pope Field. Now we've used theirs before. Their foundation that matches your skin. We've used those before. This is in the color FC01. So, let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this one's all about. Full concealer foundation. But before that have a little concealer brush. Now, I might save the concealer brush. See, it's got a hole in the middle. You see that hole? And that hole is where you put the concealer. But I think I'm going to save that for the other. I think we're going to open these. These are my preferred for foundation. These just work so easy. 
since I can figure out how to get in them. They work so easy. And they last. Oh. I love them. And you get... I just ditch this. Look at this. You get four. And these are the big ones. And they're very soft. But these are the ones I use. So... And that case comes in handy. So, let's try a little bit of this on the spot and see what we say. Now, this is full coverage. So, it's a nice, thick cream. So, let's see what we got. Because, like I said, I've got age spots and freckles. So, I need a good foundation that's going to cover. Well... This foundation doesn't want to come out. There we go. We got a little bit. Let's see. It's cream. It's a very thick, thick cream. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's a thick cream. And look at this. I mean, look at this. It didn't cover Jack. It just made light. So, this particular brand, I'm not recommending. Hold on, let me get the top on. This full cover is not full cover, as you can see. It's not covered. So, that one, I can't recommend. At least not for me and my skin type. It didn't work. And it's a very thick paste. And I can see that clogging pores. And you know we don't want to clog pores. That's not cool. So let's try this brand. This is by Ling Manny. Let's see what we got here. Concealer, Lang Manny. Let's see this. Now it's in the same kind of container, but this is a different company, and this is the color 06. I'd be helpful if I hold it right. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, I like this. This is more of a cream. And that's what I'm used to. More of a cream. Although this color looks a little dark. It didn't look that dark in the head. Whoa, yeah, it doesn't take much. Hold on. I scraped my little sponge off. It picked up a lot. See if we can cover these age spots over here. Oh, I like this. Can you see? Yeah, I like that. I like this. Look, see? It's covering my age spots and my freckles over here. Let's see how it does under the eye. Because that's always a big test. Under your eye. I don't know if you get little bags. I turn purple, but I do. Okay, let's get a big section over here so you can see. And tell me what you think. Now, it's going to have to be blended really good down here. But what do you think? What do you think? I think it's good. But you see the color tone different. The skin tone's different than mine. It's a little bit darker, but as far as coverage, it's good. And it feels soft. It dried quick. So this is a good brand. This is a very good brand. Now, this color is not right for me in winter. Now, in summer, when I get a little color, it's going to be good for me. But right now in winter, it's not a good color for me. But I like the brand. I like the way it covers so, I'm very happy with this. 
I will go and get some more of this in this color. Not in this color. Not in this color. Yeah, I like this. I don't like this a lot. This is what I'm used to. A nice creamy foundation. So, when you see this in the description column below, I'm recommending this. Just watch the colors because when I ordered it, it looked like it was a lighter color in the description than it came in. Now, this next one. Let's hope it works. Let's hope it works. Now, this is by Lake Coo. Le Coo. It's BB Cream Beauty Makeup. Even Skin Tone Concealer. Pores Cover Blemishes. That sounds like freckles and stuff. Alright, I like, think I like that. Let's see, and this color is 210. Okay, they give me a little metal thing to pull. Now, don't they know I have nails? <laughs> don't they know I have nails and I can't pull these things? So, you have nails and you can't pull them. What's the next best thing? Next best thing is to grab an earring and poke a hole in it. <laughs> now, this is where you want to use your foundation brush. Because you just put the tube down in the middle hole of the foundation brush and squeeze a little in. Oh, I like that color. Look at that. I think we've hit something on here. So let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. See how confident I feel in this? I feel very confident in this color. Oh, yeah. A lot came out, though. So it's going to take a lot of blending. This is creamy. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it's easy to go on. It feels soft on my skin. I like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that coverage. You see it? Look at that. It's covering everything. Covering absolutely everything. I'm loving it. I am loving this. So, this BB cream by LaCalle has got me. I'm loving it. I am absolutely, positively loving it. Look how smoothly it's going on. I mean, just like an artist painting on a canvas. Now, what I'm going to do is use this brush to spread most of it. And then to even it out, what I'll do is go in with the sponge. Because the sponge is going to get any imperfections or if there's extra on it. To spread it. Oh yeah. I am just absolutely loving this. Alright. I'm going to get a clean sponge. Because we had that color that was too dark on there. So, I'm going to get a clean sponge and just start here. See, it's getting the excess off. Enable you to blend it. Yeah, see, that's what you need to do when you finish your foundation. Always get another sponge to blend. That way you don't get that cakiness and that appearance like you've got foundation. Because I did put foundation all over my face. But by going over it with this, it's going to take that look away like I did everything. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. 
So what do you think? Much better? Much better. And you wouldn't know by looking at me that I have foundation all over my face. I like this stuff. I'm going to put the top on it and show it to you again. So, in the product description below, that's what you're going to look for. Isn't that great? I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to have to get me some more of that. All right. Next up, we have a contour stick. Now, contour sticks are very important because what they do is they show off your cheekbones. Now, this is called 3D Face. It's by Romantic Flower 3D Face. Now, what you get with this, see if I can get it open. It's got that shrink wrap on it. Get that shrink wrap open. It's got two ends. You have a light contour end, ah! and you have a dark contour end. And you know that little plastic sticking to my fingers? Okay. Ah! You have a light end here. And then you have a darker end here. Now, how I use the contour stick is you go here, right along your jawline. I know you're saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's okay. Watch. And then go right along here with the dark and then you take the light and go under it and on your chin you go above it okay so we've created contour lines now take your sponge you got a clean side on the other side and just blend blend it up blend it up so you got that light going into the dark. And what you're doing, see that here? You're accentuating your cheekbone. So that's all I'm doing is accentuating my cheekbone. That's it. You see? See how my cheekbone stands out now? And it helps your chin not look so round. If you're like me, you got a round chin. See? Helps your face not look so bad. And I got a fat face. So just gonna blend that. Blend that. Alright. So that is how we use a contour stick. Now, the next thing we have. is by Music Flower, again, the same company, no, Magic Flower brought us the con, the contour stick. This is an eyeliner. I love eyeliner. So there we go. I love me some eyeliner. And you see my videos, you know I do. This I got in brown. Usually I get black, but I decide to get brown. So, I gotta get this plastic off, which I'm glad they have, because for hygienic purposes, you know nobody's messed with it. It's factory sealed. But this static electricity, I'm telling you, all these little plastic pieces are sticking to me. All right. So this is what it is. It just looks like a giant crown. Now what I do with my eyeliner, you can see, I just go along the bottom here and just make a fine line. So, I just go along the bottom. And make a fine line. 
So there you go. That's my eyeliner. And I like this. Easy to use. You don't need to put pressure. You don't need to. It just goes right on. I like this. I like this. I recommend that. Now this one is a different brand. But this is the old stick kind. So I'm not sure how this is. This is silky gel eyeliner. So I don't know how a silky gel eyeliner is. Try and turn it up. Okay. So let's see how this does compared to the pencil. Okay, you gotta put pressure on for this one. The other one, you didn't have to put any pressure, it just went on. This one, you gotta put pressure. I don't like putting pressure on my eyes. I, I just don't like, you know, having to rub hard on them or anything like that. So, between the two, I'm recommending this one. Because you don't have to put pressure, it just glides on. Real soft, real smooth, real easy. So, I'm recommending this one. Now, now, we are going to do something. Me and my, as my granddaughter says, I'm older than dinosaurs. <laughs> we are going to do something I've never, ever, ever done. Are you ready? I have a box here. And in this box, in this box, if I can get it open, <laughs> if I can get it open, oh, I'm nervous. I'm not going to tell you a story. I'm not going to tell you a story. Is natural look, reusable, self-adhesive, eyelashes. <laughs> I'm going to try them. Just for you. I'm going to try them. This is by Mage Mage Fi. It says, no glue needed. Three pairs of reusable self-adhesive eyelashes. So let's see what comes in this package. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take these out of the plastic so you can see them clearly. My gracious, my goodness. All right, don't know what this is, but I guess we need it. Whoa, Nellie, look at that first pair. My goodness, can you see me in those? <laughs> All right, got a second pair. Let's figure out how to open them. Okay. Another one of these. Okay, okay, these are better. Those are better. And the third pair. <sighs> Getting nervous. Getting nervous. All right, and the third pair. I, these are about a medium between the two. Okay, so, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, now I got one more pack to open. These, of course, the stickers across the label so we can't see them. Isn't that the way it always goes? They put the sticker across the label. All right, let's open these up and see what these are before we make our final decision on which pairs to use. Let's see what this, what these are. They got these tight and shrink wrap, so give me half a second to get these open. Fashion eyelashes. 
All right. Okay, those aren't bad. All right, so what do we think? I think they may be smaller than these. What do you think? No, I think these are smaller. Yeah, these are smaller. Okay. So we're just going to put these in this box. All right. Now, because of what I was reading, I bought this little tool. Well, I didn't buy this little tool. This whole video is sponsored by Timu. This is a Timu sponsored video. I forgot to say that. Thank you, Timu. Timu sponsored this. These are little clippers to help you put them on. But, yeah, this whole video is sponsored by Timu. Timu sponsored all of this. So, thank you, Timu. All right. Do we have any directions? Okay. Clean the iron. We're clean. Pick up both ends of the false eyelashes with the point of the white blade and move the eyelashes out. Stick the middle of the eyelash first and affix the ends of the eyelash on both of your eye corners. Okay. Okay. It's okay, Trixie. We must be getting to deliver. It must be another team the package. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. Get him out of here. Is it plastic over top of them? How do we get him out? We're learning. We're learning together. Okay. Got it out. Now. now that we have it out, let's figure out how to get it out. This is this one of those ones? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. It had a plastic clear shield. Whoops, and I dropped my little white thing. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Now let's take the corner of this and get this off, it says. Okay. Getting this off. <laughs> Getting nervous. Here it comes. Alright. Do we have a caterpillar or do we have an eyelash? <gasps> Alright. So we have an eyelash. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, maybe we can. Okay, come on. Cooperate. Cooperate. 
I'm nervous. Okay. Well, that was a little high. I need to come down a little bit. All right, we got that side. I think I got that side. All right. Get this side. You know, this is something I couldn't do every day. I'll be honest with you. But uh, I'm getting the situation, I do believe. But yeah, I couldn't do this every day. All right. Can you tell? feel funny. Yeah, you can tell. Wow. What do you think? All right, let's go for number two. Number two should be quicker. We know there's a plastic thing on this to hold it. So we got to get that off first. Whew. They feel different. They don't hurt. They don't hurt at all. They just feel kind of different. Alright. Yeah, they just feel kind of different. No, they don't hurt. Wow. <laughs> I got false eyelashes on. Cool. Cool. I have to get on the phone with my granddaughters. So, I say, look at what grandma's doing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see how easy we can do this one. Let's see how easy we can do this one. So, put it in the middle first. And then tuck down your sides. Whoops. I didn't tuck down my side. <laughs> All right. All right. I have lashes. Well, that's all I had to haul. This one's a little lumpy. I'll just smooth this one out. But, what'd you think? Did you have fun? You saw the real me. We did some new stuff together. We had fun. So, thank you, Timu. Yeah, I definitely got to smooth this one out. But we had fun. I had fun. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. And again, thank you all. And remember, the most important thing, have a blessed day.